What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the least common multiple of two large numbers, specifically 104 and 76. And we're gonna do this using the prime factorization method, yay. So the first thing we need to do here is find the prime factors of 104 and 76. And to do that, we can just use the factor tree method. So 104 and 76, All right? Starting with 104, we can break this down. Uh, well, it's even. Right, so we can break it down into 2 times 52. 2 is prime, so we're done with that one, but 52 we can break down into, well, let's see, this one's even also, so we can break it down into 2 times 26. All right, uh, 2 is prime right there. And 26 we can again break down into 2 times 13. All right, both of these are prime, so we'll circle those and we're done, right? Nothing left to break down. And same thing with 76. This is an even number, so we can break it down into 2 times 38. Okay, this is prime. 38 we can break down into 2 times 19, right? And 2 and 19 are both prime. Nothing left to break down, so we're done there. Okay, so that's the first step, just finding your prime factors. The second step is going to be multiplying all these prime factors together in a specific way, okay? So first, let's start with 104. All right, so we're going to multiply all the prime factors together here. So we're going to say 104 is equal to, and then we're going to say 2 times 2 times 2 times 13, right? So we're going to say 2 times 2 times 2 times 13, all right? Now the other one that we're going to do is 76. So 76 is equal to 2 times 2 times 19, all right? So 76 is equal to 2 times 2. And now the 19, I'm actually going to put it all the way over here at the end. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to line up the same numbers vertically. So that's why I put a 2 here, because I had a 2 up here. That's why I put a 2 here, because I had a 2 up here. And then there's no 19s up top, right? So I'm just going to put 19 by itself out here. Okay, and there's a reason I'm doing that. Okay, so now here I'm going to... Uh, kind of multiply them all together vertically, all right? So we're going to say the least common multiple of 104 and 76 is equal to. Now here, we're, like I said, we're going to kind of bring these numbers down vertically. Now, if you have the same number twice, so here we have a 2 and here we have a 2, you're only going to write it down once right here. So we're going to put a 2 right there. Now we're going to multiply that by here. We have a 2 and a 2, but again, we're only going to write it down once. Here we just have a single 2 by itself, so we're going to bring that single 2 by itself. Here we have a single 13, so we're bringing that by itself also, and this single 19, so also by itself. Okay, so the least common multiple of 104 and 76 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 13 times 19. All right, so you just have to multiply all this together. So first of all, uh, I'll help you break it down a little bit. So 2 times 2 times 2, this right here is equal to 8. So 8 times 13 times 19. Okay, and then 8 times 13 right here, that's equal to 104. So we have 104 times 19, and 104 times 19 is equal to 1,976. So the least common multiple between 104 and 1, and uh, sorry, 76, is equal to 1,976. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.